Hello everyone, back to you in today's first video. We're going to have a look at weather we care for Europe for today's uh, first video. So we've brought back the European outlook after something like a four year uh, hiatus. I brought it back last week. And uh, it goes along with the weekend forecast for America that we've also started doing as well. We did weekend forecast for the United States uh, last night. We do that on a Thursday night. And then Friday morning will be a uh, weekend forecast for Europe. So we're going to see what GFS is uh, predicting uh, for Europe for uh, the next uh, week. And I'll get on that for you very shortly. Just say that Jeremy Friday, month end broadcast will be coming up later on today. And uh, we'll also have a uh, week to 10 day video update uh, as well. And of course, that will include all of the regular features. If you're enjoying the content at the moment, please give us a like on the video and also share uh, the videos as well. And don't forget to subscribe to the channels. The up uh, to the channel. The weekend forecast for Europe and America are going to be kept just to YouTube at the moment. I'm not embedding them to Gaussworthy.com. Just going to see how they go, whether they build up uh, a little bit of a following uh, first of all. So if you want to be notified when we release, the um, uh, weekend forecast for Europe and when we release weekend forecast for America, you will need to subscribe uh, to the channel and you'll be notified uh, when we do that. Uh, right, Ben, let's go on it, Ben. So we're going to start off with the uh, situation for today uh, across Europe. So uh, we've still got the legacy of uh, the cold shock up over Scandinavia with this trough of low pressure just here off the coast of Norway. Uh, so cold and windy and quite uh, wintry still across particularly northern parts of uh, Norway and Sweden and up into northern F Finland as well. Going further southwards, uh, we've got quite a bit of low pressure through these uh, more southern and uh, eastern parts of the, uh, of the continent. Pressure is quite weak uh, across some of these parts of Europe. High pressure beginning to ridge in from off the Atlantic, though, in towards the UK and Ireland. That is a sign of things to come in, uh, the, uh, in the week ahead. So these are our upper air temperatures for today. It's looking cold across Scandinavia with that trough of low pressure off the coast of Norway, bringing in the minus 5 cells iceberg, particularly to central and northern parts of Norway and Sweden. The delayed spring goes on up there. Meanwhile, further south, pretty chilly scene, really, across most parts of Europe with the upper air temperatures. Ivan, UK, uh, much of Belgium, Holland, uh, into northern Germany in particular, and up to Denmark as well, notable northern parts of Poland. All those areas are quite cool with the upper air temperatures. Even down into the Mediterranean, like Spain and Portugal, uh, we do see quite suppressed upper air temperatures there. However, it's much hotter over on the eastern side of the Med. So from southern Italy eastwards uh, through in towards Greece and Turkey, very, very hot with the upper air temperatures there, real heatwave conditions going on in the far southeast. So, uh, this precipitation forecast for today, showers up across northern parts of Europe. Some of them will be wintry, even to low levels across parts of uh, Norway and Sweden, especially more northern regions. Then it goes mainly dry as we move in towards parts of northern Poland and uh, into northern parts of Germany, over into the low countries, and much of uh, France as well, relatively dry. UK and Ireland also looking pretty dry away from the far north of Scotland. But then we run into a swathe of heavy showers and thunderstorms like from uh, southern parts of Poland and then going down towards uh, Hungary and then in towards uh, the Alps and then into southern France, particularly around the Côte d'Azur and down towards Spain and Portugal. Even inland parts of Spain and Portugal could have some heavy showers and thunderstorms uh, this afternoon. But that leaves much of the central basin of the Mediterranean, so the holiday islands of Mallorca, Menorca, Ibiza and also Corsica and Sardinia and Malta, mostly dry. And those dry conditions extend through many parts of uh, southern Italy, and, of course, it's dry down towards Greece and Turkey as well. Here's today's uh, temperatures, maximum temperatures. So cold across northern parts of uh, Europe, across the far north of uh, Scandinavia, we see temperatures only sort of pegged back into single digits. Some parts of northern uh, Norway and Sweden probably not getting much above freezing again uh, this afternoon. But go down in towards uh, western and central parts of Europe, we see temperatures generally ranging from around 10 to uh, 20 degrees. So uh, it does get a little bit less cold as we come further south. Those are probably still a little bit below uh, average at time of the year. But over on the eastern side of the Mediterranean, much hotter there. You see these red colours through southern Italy, over the Adriatic, and towards the Balkans, and particularly down towards Greece and Turkey. We see temperatures widely of around 30, 32, 33, 34 degrees, uh, potentially, in that southeastern corner going into the 90s Fahrenheit. Through to Saturday, where we're going to still have that low pressure over Scandinavia. This ridge of high pressure is desperately trying to get in from off the Atlantic. Otherwise, pressure looking quite weak again across many parts of uh, Europe tomorrow. But we still have the hot weather going 
on in that southeastern corner of the Mediterranean. There's the upper air temperatures confirming really hot conditions coming out of North Africa in towards the southeast part of the Mediterranean. Otherwise, the temperatures are a little bit suppressed, and particularly so, again, up across Scandinavia, where it still looks, unfortunately, uh, quite cold. Precipitation tomorrow shows uh, plenty of dry weather for even southeastern part of the Med, but coming back into western parts of the Mediterranean, we do have some heavy showers and some thunderstorms breaking out, particularly again through southern parts of France, then going down in towards Spain and Portugal. And some begin to push through the central bowl, uh, bowl of the Mediterranean as well. A swathe of drier weather then through central and northern parts of France into Germany, and then over onto this eastern side of Europe, mainly dry uh, there. And then going further north, as we pick up the showers again across Scandinavia and into Baltic Sea areas. And again, some of those showers could be wintry, especially across northern parts of Scandinavia. I the UK looking uh, mainly dry. Temperatures tomorrow, uh, so not quite as hot in the uh, southeast part of the train, but even so, we're still into the low 30s. 30, 32 is around 86 to uh, is around 86 to um, 90 Fahrenheit, so still pretty hot down in that southeastern uh, corner. Otherwise, we've seen temperatures begin to lift up a little bit, kind of um, 15 to 22 perhaps across uh, many central western parts of Europe, but it's still cold up across Scandinavia. Temperatures there, again, uh, pegged back into single digits somewhere around freezing to around plus uh, 8 to 10 probably across Scandinavia tomorrow. Sunday sees that reach of high pressure beginning to strengthen across uh, southern parts of England and down in towards France. That's starting to lift the jet stream back north as this trough of low pressure containing the cold uh, temperature still over Scandinavia. But gradually that is beginning to fill and uh, ease as this ridge begins to build up from the uh, southwest. The hottest weather still looks as though it's over on the southeastern side of Europe. The upper air temperatures confirm that again from southern Italy over towards Greece and Turkey and also Cyprus as well, looking uh, really hot through those areas. Coming further west, was back into western bowl of the Mediterranean and through Spain and Portugal. Temperatures are beginning to lift up as this ridge from the Azores high starts to strengthen. And you'll see the upper air temperatures are gradually lifting up actually. Uh, across uh, many parts of uh, Central and Western Europe as we go into Sunday. But Scandinavia is still looking quite chilly. Not as cold across Scandinavia, but still quite uh, chilly there. Much of Western Europe is turning drier, actually, but we do have some outbreaks of rain for Scotland and possibly for Northern Ireland, but for the Republic of Ireland, uh, England, Wales, France, and down to much of Spain and Portugal, it's looking mainly dry on Sunday. Some heavy showers or thunderstorms possible on the eastern side of Spain. Some of those could affect the holiday islands of Central Bowl, of Mediterranean. But overall, it is quite a dry scene through much of the Med. And the showers and thunderstorms across southern France are uh, easing off as well. More away showers across eastern parts of Europe and still a very showery scene. Some of them probably still wintry across parts of Scandinavia. Temperatures remain suppressed across the far north of Europe. They are lifting up a little bit. You'll notice southern parts of Sweden beginning to go in towards those yellow colours. But overall, Scandinavia still with suppressed temperatures of around uh, 8 to 12. Uh, UK, France, uh, those sort of areas going up into potentially around 20, 21. That's around 70 uh, Fahrenheit. Quite warm through uh, western parts of the Mediterranean as well, becoming hotter through Spain and Portugal. Temperatures going to be to upper 20s Celsius. Hottest conditions, though, will be in the southeastern part of uh, the Mediterranean once again, with temperatures around 30 to 32 degrees. Warming up a little bit across eastern parts of Europe as well. Monday sees that high pressure starting to ridge in from the Azores through much of France into all southern parts of the UK and going through some of these western and central parts of Europe as well. Also, a little bit unsettled with low pressure through the central. Bowl of the men and up across Scandinavia again that cold trough is beginning to uh, weaken and move northwards. The upper air temperatures are gradually lifting up across uh, many parts of Europe. Still looks quite chilly though over Scandinavia I'm afraid but overall temperatures, the upper air temperatures are lifting up. Hottest weather is uh, through the Mediterranean. The heat just beginning to ease off perhaps a little bit in this southeastern corner of the Med, but at the same time it's probably starting to warm up across parts of Spain and Portugal. So heavy showers and Thunderstorms could be breaking out through this central part of the Mediterranean on Monday. So uh, there could be some torrential and very violent thunderstorms through the central area of the Med. On either side looking mostly dry. Spain and Portugal mainly dry. And from Italy over towards Greece and Turkey again looking mostly dry there. Further northwards, many, many parts of the western and also central to eastern Europe looking mostly dry. But up in the north it remains more unsettled with further showers likely for, uh, for Scandinavia and coming down into 
uh, Baltic Sea areas like Latvia, Estonia, Finland, those sort of areas. The uh, temperature on uh, Monday looks like that. Still quite chilly across Scandinavia, but gradually, day by day, the temperature is beginning to ease up ever so slightly. But still, we're struggling really to get much above 10 to 12. However, most parts of Europe looking uh, warmer, actually, on uh, Monday, with temperatures uh, ranging somewhere from around, say, 18 to uh, 28. 28 is into the low 80s Fahrenheit, looking quite hot through most parts of the Mediterranean as well. And then we go through into Tuesday. That ridge of high pressure is developing further through uh, western parts parts of Europe. That possibly starts to push more and south conditions over onto the eastern side uh, of Europe. The upper air temperatures looking like that, so uh, still quite chilly through central north parts of Scandinavia. Otherwise, though, most parts of Europe warming up. Looks hot in the southeastern part of the Med and also becoming increasingly hot through uh, Spain and uh, Portugal. In fact, much of the Med looks like it is warming up as we go through into the middle part of the week. Heavy showers and thunderstorms from that low pressure that was on Tuesday in the central med pushing northwards into southeastern parts of France, southern Germany and also over to Italy uh, as well. There could be some violent thunderstorms breaking out through there going up to Alpine regions as well. Potentially most parts of France, Spain and Portugal mainly dry. Dry through Greece and Turkey. Going further northwards, uh, Ireland and the UK looking mostly dry except for a little bit of shy rain across all parts of Scotland. I mean, it's a case of showers or maybe some longer spells of rain uh, across eastern parts of uh, Sweden, going over towards Finland, and then down this eastern uh, side of, uh, of northern Europe. It does look a little bit more unsettled and showery through there. Temperatures, nice and warm, really, across most parts of Europe. Still struggling a bit across Scandinavia, but gradually things are lifting up with the temperature there. Uh, but from, like, Denmark southwards, actually, it does turn quite a lot warmer with temperatures into the low to mid 27 for many others, ranging somewhere, I think, from around 20 uh, to uh, 28 degrees. So, again, we're somewhere from, like, the low to mid-70s to uh, the low 80s Fahrenheit. Spain looking hotter as well. Temperatures probably going up to around 30 to 32. That's 90 Fahrenheit through many uh, central and southern parts of Spain and Portugal. Looking hot, but not ha as hot as it has been, but looking hot over across Greece and Turkey as well. Wednesday sees a high pressure drifting further north up towards Scandinavia. That definitely starts turn things more out on the eastern side of Europe and cooler with those northerly winds. However, most central western parts of Europe are starting to draw in some warmer air from the south. The upper air temperatures show that much of the Med is looking hot. It's becoming less cold across Scandinavia as well in the back ridge of high pressure, but eastern parts of or northeast parts of Europe do look a little bit on the cool side. Quite warm on the western side of Europe as well. Spain and Portugal looking hot. Showers and thunderstorms down across southeastern parts of France and through Italy. Also this time going over the Adriatic in towards the Balkans. There's going to be some big showers and thunderstorms there from the Balkans through towards the Black Sea. Going further north was the eastern side of uh, Europe looks quite showery, but northern, central, west areas uh, and through much of the western part of Mediterranean looking mostly dry with plenty of sunshine and that ridge of high pressure becoming increasingly warm through Ireland, the UK, France, Spain and Portugal with temperatures ranging somewhere from around uh, 22 to 32, uh, so that's 72 to uh, 90 Fahrenheit, 90 Fahrenheit of course down across southern parts of uh, and inland parts of Spain. Going northwards, it is warming up under uh, the high pressure across Scandinavia as well, so we're gradually seeing uh, temperatures lifting up in towards the low to mid teens Celsius, particularly through southern parts of Norway and Sweden, although these Baltic Sea areas do look a little bit cooler with those northerly winds, and then quite hot in uh, the southeastern part of the Mediterranean as well. Thursday looks like that, so high pressure still in control for Thursday, but low pressure is trying to come in from off the Atlantic, just trying to break that reach down uh, a little bit. However, for much of northern Europe, high pressure is in control to Thursday. Pressure looking a little bit weaker in this southeastern part of the Europe, perhaps. Upper air temperature show that it's nice and warm on the western side of Europe. Hot through Spain. Uh, once again, Mediterranean looking very warm as well. But it turns cooler, though, on the uh, on the eastern side of this uh, high pressure of Scandinavia. does turn cooler down the eastern side of the Europe. Uh, South precipitation is looking lots of dry weather under that high pressure, but some heavy showers or thunderstorms could be breaking out across Ireland and parts of uh, and parts of the UK as well as we go into Thursday. A bit unsure about that. It could be a bit progressive in bringing that trough in from off the Atlantic, but otherwise there's lots of dry weather until we run into these showers across eastern 
uh, far eastern parts of Europe and further storms possibly from the Balkans threatening towards the Black Sea and maybe try to push down towards northern parts of Greece as well. Temperatures on Thursday quite cool on the eastern side of Europe with those northerly winds. Temperatures pegged back to like um, 10 to uh, 14 degrees across many of those eastern parts of Europe. It's warmer in the west though with temperatures again uh, generally ranging from around uh, 22 to uh, 32. 32 of course 90 Fahrenheit across some of the parts of um, Spain. Uh, and Scandinavia also you'll notice is becoming a lot milder there. Uh, temperatures lifting up in towards the mid to upper teens Celsius uh, across Scandinavia under that ridge of high pressure. You've got two or three more really cold days to come across Scandinavia and then we should gradually start to see uh, things warming up. France also looking quite warm with temperatures into the mid to possibly possibly upper 20 Celsius on Thursday. And when I run you out up to day 10, so Friday looks like that high pressure over Scandinavia, but things gradually beginning to break down across more western parts of Europe on this GFS run with showers coming and going, possibly some thunderstorms too. That's Saturday, and as we go through into Sunday, then we start to bring low pressure in from off the Atlantic. This is Sunday, 24th of May, day 10. We start to bring low pressure in off the Atlantic to the UK and Ireland, turning cool and wet there. Um, Mediterranean looks mainly dry and hot and showers Showery through the central east parts of Europe, mainly dry up across Scandinavia, uh, uh, with that ridge of high pressure dominating up there. I'm not sure about the weather as we go into the bank holiday weekend. Well, what will be the bank holiday weekend for the, for the UK sort of next weekend? Other models, uh, particularly the ECL, and I'll show you this uh, in today's third video update. Other models are indicating that we could actually turn things increasingly hot as we move into the uh, bank holiday weekend for the UK and for Ireland. So I'm not sure about where the GFS goes as it gets towards sort of days 8, 9 and 10. Right, that's it for your, for your European outlook for this week. Please give us a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. Uh, share the video wherever you can and subscribe to the channel and let us know in the comments what you thought. We're going to be back very shortly with JMA Friday. That's all for now though and thanks for watching.